So for topic two, my topic is video game cover art uh, and just video game, like physical copies and box art in general. And if a uh, video game cover has ever made you like want to buy a game or look more into a game that you didn't know about or just covers that stand out to you in general. Oh, which one do we want to go into first? Halo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm totally joking. Uh, I'm totally joking. I want uh, <laughs> that one cover, that guy holding the gun. That's a good game. Oh, man. Oh. Or, 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 or famous sports star in motion. <laughs> Great cover. Oh, it's funny you mentioned... Side so note, like there was like three years in a row that like for FIFA, the best yeah. year ever. It, it was four years. It was four, four years. years in a row. Is this why I didn't know which year FIFA we were on? Exactly. <laughs> because it, it was That's just like funny. okay, kind of running, really running. Yeah. <laughs> and then the newest one is Messi with on the cover, else. but with some. It was the one of the female players, but it's like a really bad Photoshop of them. They were like, yeah. oh shit, there's females this year. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Who do they, they have on the female cover? The first female. I honestly don't remember. It, it, it it's done yeah. this year because this is gonna be the first year where Messi isn't on the cover. Yeah. So I'll know. finally be able to know what FIFA 17 is. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um. I don't like sport uh, So sport ball. are we talking about? Um. How about we talk about first like games that you looked into more because of the cover art? Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, someone's gonna go. <laughs> a game that that comes to mind immediately would be, um. What's the? It would be. Was it called Dark Cloud for PS2? Yeah, Dark Cloud. Yeah. You're talking about the, the building yeah. one. Yeah, the building one where yeah. you had just the face on the front where yeah. it looked like it looked like Zelda. So that's yeah, why it exactly. got me into it. That's mm. that's why it got I don't me know into that it. One. Yeah, that's one I'm not familiar yeah, with. Yeah, back when I worked at GameStop, that was one that Jesus. a lot of people were like trading in. So we constantly had like a ton of copies of that game mm. that were that were. That's being actually a really in. good game. Dark Cloud One okay. and Two is really really good. Yeah. I think they're both. Oh okay. Really yeah, be, so I think they're both on PSN now too. It'd be this one. Yeah, that's which, what I which I will put up. Yeah, to go on. There's yeah. two. If we're talking about like old kind of semi obscure PS2 games, there's um this. Like a uh, game in its sequel, it's called Evergrace, and the sequel's called Forever Kingdom. They had like really stylized covers. Evergrace was a launch title, like a year launch title, and mm. Forever Kingdom was a couple years later. That's another one. Like the cover alone, I was like sold. Yeah. Games weren't that great, mm -hmm. but the cover, like I was having fun because of that. Do you remember uh, Indigo Indigo Prophecy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The cover art for that kind of drew me in. A little oh my too. god, it's yeah. so good. And then I remember, um, <laughs> what was the my topic? What was the... <laughs> what? Then you should have talked about Indigo Prophecy. Exactly. Uh, you guys are just going no. Nah, <laughs> Hey, 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 here's an obscure game. Obscure game. Hey, a game I know. Let's get excited and talk about it. <laughs> What's the game that you... That you so, uh, on the back of Indigo about. Prophecy, uh, the Heavy Rain cover, I think was a fantastic one with the origami figure good. with the blood, blood on it. Yeah. That company as a whole, they're just good with those very like ominous kind of feels. Yeah, yeah even the Beyond Two Souls cover exactly. was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that one's a bit more stylized to be kind of... I don't want to... Yeah, kind of like a film poster in a sense, because yeah. that's what it was mimicking. But still, they are very, very good with their... Uh, on a, on a side note, the Beyond Two Souls intro, which I actually just went back and recently watched for the video that we did last yeah. week. Wow. Okay. I still remember yeah. like just the face on the screen oh, and yeah. how real that looked. I remember just like sitting back and looking like, wow, games are games are awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, one for me was um, Unravel. I don't know if any of you played it. I haven't I, played it. I've seen it. Yarny. Yes. Yeah. It's like this beautiful Yarny. background and the red drew me in and it's just so cute and I just love cute games. But then the background looks so real, and I'm like, oh, I gotta play this. I don't there know what it is. I looked into mm -hmm. it. Yep. Did you, yep. Did you watch that uh, E3 pre that press conference, the gameplay stage demo that they did? Mm -mm. When like when the guy was like, he came out on stage all nervous, and he was like shaking, and like he looked like he was probably gonna throw up on stage, <laughs> yeah. and then like he started going to like this deep, passionate story about how like Yarny connected to like his like childhood and his uh, personal yeah. experience. You know, I did hear about that. I and then I'm like, that that alone drew me and I was like, okay. Um, and I actually really like, and I know you disagree with me, um, Child of Light. I just like that style. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I like that, that art style. Like There's nothing very, about it that drew me in. It's simple. I think, which is not yeah. necessarily a yeah. bad thing, but See, maybe I, mean, I don't have it when, pulled up. When it comes to game covers, simplicity is usually what tends to draw me in. Because yeah. I see something with a bunch of detail and like, oh, here's the main character doing all this stuff, or here's the cast. It's like, okay, that's a game. That's mm -hmm. yeah. I have a general idea it's of what this much. is. too much. I think it's too much, and my brain is like, that's too much. I don't want to do that. Because yeah. then I'm like, there's gonna be it's 
going to be too complicated because the brain likes simple things. Yeah, Not that I'm sure. a simple person. I'm just saying that's what it likes. Well, I think it's so just... when there's too much going on, it's like, Rah! and yeah. I'm like, Rah! <laughs> I think it's just it, it, can, it can reveal too much sometimes. So yeah. like, like the final what was it the Final Fantasy XII cover where it's just like vomit. <laughs> oh, it's like every <laughs> every character everything in blue and character. And... I'm like, what is this? The Final Fantasy XII cover was like. Like you had to stop and like stare at it. It kind of summarized the game pretty well. It did. Just it a did. big pile of bombs. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Sorry. It, it kind of did. That and thirteen kind of mm. just. Bleh. Thirteen? No, nah, it's just lightning. <laughs> Every color was just lightning. Yeah. It's yeah. like, all right, we get it. You like this girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Andy, that drew you in. Um, I can't think of anything specific game wise, but I can think of like a specific uh setting that draws me in a lot. I like uh landscapes a lot in art mm -hmm. um like the japanese cover for eco mm -hmm. um like the, the american one's really bad yeah, like it's yeah. it's the like super early 2000 I, did anyone actually think of that cover when i think of it for i eco? don't no yeah. when i think yeah. of eco it's it's the I just, when they did the re-release on ps3 they even used the japanese yeah, yeah i know yeah. that's what i'm used yeah. to and it's anyway. gorgeous yeah, it's, it it's him holding yorda's hand running by the it's it's yeah. gorgeous and yeah. then um I don't know how many people bought Skyrim. I'm sure all four of us ha uh, bought it. Yeah. But yeah. The I'm sure all four of us are going to be buying it again exactly. next month. Yeah. Yeah. The alternate, See, I cover, I don't the alternate know. cover was really good. It's it's yeah. you as the dragonborn standing on a mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 and, like the big, it's the little, I like landscapes. Yeah. I, like landscapes. I, I, I think the argument against simplicity for that would just be the regular cover for that. Because you just look at it and it's just a symbol. Oh, logo? Yeah, and it's just like, okay, that's it I looks neat, but is. it doesn't tell me anything about the game at all. That's kind of the common... Where it's the name is what draws you in. That was the common factor between all of the Elder Scrolls games. Well, at least 3, 4, and 5, because like Morrowind, Oblivion, and that one, I think the original covers were all just the emblems of yeah. The, yeah. whatever. They were. It's like the Oblivion had like, there was like the brown background with the black writing. Yeah. It was like the Oblivion mm -hmm. symbol that was in the front of it yeah. for Purgatory, I believe. Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's that's what Oblivion was. Um one that one that I, like I immediately think of was like the Shadow of the Colossus cover. Yeah. The Shadow of the Colossus cover, like cover. like piggybacking it's, off of Eco. Yeah, it's like again, like just. We talk about that every week. Yeah, we do talk about that every week. But that's, I mean, it's what Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, we I think we talk about it, like it's literally it's, every week. It's one of the greatest ridiculous. games. It is, but just the sheer scope of the game. Like, if you have any questions about that game, look at the cover. See now, and then I you get a great idea of what the game is. Yeah, one hundred percent fact. So I I don't I think it was you that brought up earlier. I've never played Gravity Rush, which I have pulled up right now. Um, really? I, yeah, I want to play this game because of the cover. It's getting re-released on PS4, too. Like, mm -hmm. look awesome. how cool! I think it's out, yeah. Is I it? think it looks uh, awesome! Yeah, it's supposed to be a fantastic even... game. Yeah, it's, it, good. It, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's, I just like the way it looks. Do you have a Vita? Or? I always use it. Yeah, okay. I always use his. Definitely play that. It's, it's mm -hmm. funny. Um, I'm just trying to think. I just think of PS4 games. Uh, I know we kind of talked about it before, and we've talked about the game multiple times by now. Uh, Until Dawn's cover. I, I thought think you were going to say awesome. Journey. I was waiting for Jour Journey. Journey's is pretty remember. good too, but, but Until Dawn's back awesome. Until Dawn. It's the skull with the hourglass. With the okay, skull. yeah. And then yeah, you, yeah, yeah. And you see Actually, the, the cabin and stuff and the hourglass. Yeah. I like that. Awesome. I yeah. love Very that. Because sometimes I think horror games, they're too, like, they try to be too. Too aggressive. Too, yes. And, like, like the Evil Within. Like, really evil Within isn't a bad cover, but I think it's a little. Well, I just notes. hate it because I just hate the game, game, so I, I just don't like it. <laughs> I, well, I like the cover's not bad. Yeah, I'd say like as far as like unique covers go, I haven't seen a cover like the Evil Within cover before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I, it, it, like whenever I see it, I immediately know, oh, that's Evil Within. Mm -hmm. um, uniqueness in horror covers, though, uh, the first Dead Space. Yeah. Yes. The Dead Space. Open Actually, universe with the um, severed arm floating in the sky. Up. Okay, I do oh, remember that. Yeah. God. Yeah. That was that yeah, actually. That's yeah. one of the ones that drew me in. I already had known yeah. about the game. I'd been following it, but like as soon as I saw but, that, yeah, cover, seeing that cover, I was like, "Fuck me, dude! Like, yeah. This game's that's gonna be cool. nuts." That's man. a great cover. Dead Space yeah. is just a and game. It, like it kind of gives you that like, isolation feeling. Little too. Little do we know, it's gonna be scary as shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alien Isolation has a good cover too. I think. It's, it's, it's not trying so hard to be horror. This yeah. is scary. Mm -hmm. Like, look at me. This is scary. Like. Yeah, and I, and I, I Alien like Isolation. Uh, the cover is what it is. I you know, love that. It's cover, Amanda actually. Ripley, and then the, the, the Xenomorph. And the cool the thing too is that a lot, for a lot of people that don't know that it's Amanda Ripley, it looks like Ripley. Exactly. So you're kind of like, wait a second, whoa, am I playing as like Ripley in this game? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I like about yeah. that mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. So I think not to get too off on this, but just talking about horror and just made me think of some horror movie covers too, uh, like specifically, specifically DVD versus Blu-ray covers. Okay. Um, because I remember seeing when it came out, The Conjuring. If you guys know what the DVD cover is and the Blu-ray cover looks like, 
Uh, is the is DVD cover the, 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 the DVD cover is a tree in the house in the background and, and the noose hanging and it looks fantastic. Okay. The Blu-ray cover is the mom and the stairs with the clapping hands behind her and like that weird laminated cover. Interesting. I don't, I don't like that one. No, it doesn't look good. It, it doesn't. It's not that it doesn't look good. It's just you're showing the one. biggest scare moment on the cover. It's one of the most genius scares to say it's yeah. not only the best. It's like it's a one of like three or four really really good scenes in that movie. Yeah, but it doesn't really make you want to know what's going on. Where you see the DVD cover, where it's the, the movie poster, I want to know what that is. True. So it just made me kind of think of the same lines. Yeah. yeah.